So Kularak looking to try and win it back. He does win it back. And now there's the chance to possibly get a breakaway. Godo looking to try and play Terrier Blade in. And I tell you what, he's not gone far wide of the target. He's taken a deflection. So it's a good save from the goalkeeper. And Terry using his pace, using his trickery. Marshall Godo, as you'll see, just making that interception, sliding the ball forward into the path of Terrier Blade. Right footed, will deliver it. Deep one, should be headed back across goal by McAvoy. Header goes in towards goal. And I tell you what, that's a wonderful save and block once more from United. Only six minutes gone and Fulham have started very, very brightly. It was McAvoy who headed the ball back across goal. And as the header went in from Harvey Arejo, it was a good save, wasn't it? Who are coming from deep. Fortunately, this time, nothing developing. Ball worked out towards this left-hand side for O'Neill, who gets to the dead ball line, cuts it back, might fall here for Pachazzetti, shoots! And there is the opening goal! And it's a brilliant strike from Pachazzetti, it's got to be said. He might well have missed out on his first effort on goal, but he's made absolutely no mistake here. The ball fell nicely to him. One touch to control. He then took aim, and with clinical precision, he was able to beat the Manchester United goalkeeper, Vitek. Just watch it again. It arrows into that far corner, and Fulham justifiably have the lead here. Manchester United nil, Fulham won. And here come United forward here. Momentarily at the wrong side here. The effort goes in on goal and it goes just wide. And it's a little interception from the United player. Good cutback. And there is the equalising goal. And that's how quickly things can change. It was Oliver Bray, the trialist, who cut the ball back into the path of Amari Forson. And he's made absolutely no mistake slotting the ball past George Wickens. We'll get the chance to see it again. Just caught in possession there, the defender, Charlie Robinson. He goes back to Dibley Diaz. He works it towards that left-hand side. Just stopped in his tracks, brilliant ball in. And there is another goal for Fulham, and it's Terrier Blade who scores. He really couldn't miss. It was played in with great precision. Picking out a blade, the Fulham number nine. And all he had to do was just open his foot up or open his body up and guide the ball past the goalkeeper, O'Neill, with a great cross. Here come United again. Ball started forward towards Gore. It's just opened up and he's put it wide at the target. It looked easier to score. It really did open up for him. Cuts it back to Sekularak. Beaten to it by the United player. And here come United again. Over the halfway line they go. And this is a big opportunity. And a good save from the goalkeeper. Oliver Bray didn't really look convincing. George Wickens was quickly off his line. Bray wanted to use his right foot there. Just telling one of the Manchester United players to get forward. That was central defender Reese Bennett. The ball floated in. Fulham player went to ground. Danger still not over. It's a rasping effort. And I tell you what, would you believe it? Manchester United may well take something from the game. And it's the same player who scored that brilliant goal in the first half, who scored one in the second. Forson just taking aim.